bipartisan border uh, solutions act um, that's stalled in the house is there any other legislation or congressional action that's being considered right now that has the votes to pass the house on this topic uh, the um, well i think you you heard the uh, several people mention the catch and release policy um, we asked the Border Patrol Union, uh, what is one thing we could do to stop this? And they said they need to be able to detain people who come across the border and then present them to an immigration judge or somebody to make a decision whether they legally qualify for asylum rather than release them for this eight-year backlog after which they don't show up. Um, so this is an open invitation to, uh, to, to come and uh, people are coming, and they will continue to come. So that's, that would be the single most effective thing. But first of all, you've got to have the political will. And the president, apparently, and his party have zero political will uh, to try to fix our broken border. Senator Warren. Senator Warren, in 2013, the Comprehensive Immigration Bill that passed the Senate had money for 20,000 border agents, 700 miles of fencing, you were involved in the bipartisan negotiations this week in the negotiating group. Can you talk about how far did you guys get, and do you think that there's any political will to appropriate the same type of money that was appropriated, almost appropriated, 2013, in 2013 to keep up border patrol agents and fencing? Well, the Border Patrol tells us that there are three things that they need. They need people, they need technology, and they need physical barriers. And then I would add to that the fourth thing, they need the, the political will from on high to actually enforce the law, not to, not to not enforce the law. But Democrats will point back to that uh, so-called comprehensive immigration reform bill that did pass the Senate, but it didn't go anywhere in the House, which means it, doesn't, it didn't become law, it didn't get a presidential signature. What we saw instead by President uh, Trump during his administration is he sent a different message. He said a different message, don't come, don't take the dangerous journey, and if you're going to claim asylum, you're going to have to wait for that to be uh, handled while you remain in Mexico. And it's a completely different message. It's one of deterrence. It's not just about enforcing the law, it's actually discouraging people from making the dangerous journey in the first place. So what, the, what President Biden and his administration have done is created such a humanitarian and public safety crisis that really what we've done in the past is obsolete. We need to deal with the current crisis before we're going to be able to do anything else, I believe, in the immigration space. I want to 